What's up everyone? So we're changing things up a little. In this video we're working with an image from musician and artist Siobhan Sainty. So I'll be putting her links down in the description. You guys can go give her a follow down there. You can also check out her latest work here over in the bio. So yeah, we're going to be trying to recreate an orange and teal look with one of her images. First thing I'll do, bump up the contrast, quickly adjust some of these. We'll come back to them. Bring down that vibrance. Okay, so just before I do the curves, I'm gonna warm up our skin tones because I know they want to be in this direction. So they're a bit warm at the moment, but we'll do the curves now. Actually pull that back. Okay. So let's get into the curves. Okay, so that's the curves done. We just added a bit of a fade uh, to in this one and brought up those highlights a bit. But if we look at these ones, so you want to bring in a bit more colors in the midtones and the highlights. So this is taking red out of the image and putting red into the image. So we want to put a lot more red into the skin tones because we're after that orange and teal look so we want to make them look nice and orange and so yeah we'd put a bit red there and then we did a little bit of green as well and then blue there's much less because we don't want blues in the skin tones we want to take blue out or have less of it than the other colors because then it gives a nice warm look to the skin so there's a little less blue in the midtones a little less blue in the highlights because we want nice warm highlights and then in the shadows though there's a lot um, more blue because we want those nice teal blues in the darker areas they're about the same the blues and the shadows but if we wanted those nice cool blues in the shadows, would have something like that. I pull them down. I might add in some blue with the split toning instead of here. So yeah, as you can see, less blue in those mid-tones. And then you got the reds in there and a bit of greens. Because if we took the greens out, it would just look a bit too harsh. Adding a bit more green sort of gives a bit more of a orange if you add green and red together. So, hopefully that helps and we will move on, maybe touch up a few things up here. Um, all looks pretty good, bring out those blacks. Okay, yeah, looks good. Come down to split toning. So I want to add in a lot of blue into the shadows because that's what's going to give a really nice coolness to the shadows. And then if we just work with the saturation of our skin tones. Right, highlights. I just put a touch, touch of blue in the highlights. That way it's sort of, they were looking a tad green before. You could do that in the curves, but split turning, I think that looks good. Okay, let's go hues. Reds, we will put about there. 
oranges look about right yellows so as you can see we're looking a little too yellow we want want it to be more warm a bit more orange so we'll slide these yellows to be even warmer and that looks pretty good so if we look at our blues we want a nice teal blue they're pretty teal at the moment but we'll just enhance them a bit shift them in this direction okay um saturation maybe make these blues pop a bit more and then maybe a deepen luminance you can deepen the blues a bit okay looks good come down sharpening's probably good bit of grain okay I think we're on to the retouching part of this image so the first thing we'll do will be try to smooth out the skin so there's better ways to do this but this is definitely the easiest and quickest way I know how to and I think it looks really good so grab your brush turn on this box down here so you can see where you're brushing just brush away so once you have that selected just drop the clarity so you can see what the clarity does I'm gonna drop it down but don't drop it down too far because otherwise you lose a lot of texture to the skin and I think about there looks good and that's all we need to do with that brush maybe just brush over extra some bits Okay, next thing, I might just brighten this eye up a bit. Got to invert the circle. And shadows a bit. I just do a tiny bit and I might bring it out with a brush a bit better so grab another brush just a touch of exposure and that's all right in lighting you sort of want to achieve this triangle shape on the opposite side of the face um, otherwise one more brush we'll just brighten about there yeah, that looks good. Another brush. Make it nice and small. Might want to zoom in for this, but I'll just do it quickly. Just brushing the irises. And all you want is a little bit of exposure. That looks good. Another filter to go over the eyes. We just want to add a touch of clarity to help the eyes pop and a touch of sharpness. Duplicate it. 
make sure it's inverted so it's fitting the inside affecting the inside of the filter it's good and now we just want a final touch we want to remove some of these blemishes from the skin so if you just grab this tool here and if you just click on any blemish it does a really good job of picking another place in the image and replacing that over top this is a really 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 good tool And I think that background is a bit too saturated, so I'm just going to brush it. And then bring the saturation down. Okay, so this bit, it's a little too bright, especially in there. If I just go erase, hopefully I can brush away the brightness we did to that part of the eye doesn't look like it just, just redo it it's just really bright there for some reason looks weird um, so I'll just do that again This one a little brighter. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, guys. I'll just leave it there. Let me know what you thought of this one down in the comments, and definitely go give her a follow over on Instagram because me and her are going to be creating a lot of content together. So keep up to date with that if you want to see tons of tutorials and editing styles go follow her and yeah if you like these tutorials check out the presets because i add all the best presets into this one package so there's a ton of value in there for you guys and comment who you guys want to see so i can go then reach out to them on instagram ask them to send in a photo and do a tutorial on them so it really helps me if you guys just leave them down in the comments and yeah, that's about it guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.